Good morning and welcome back everybody to another Subi Shaves video with me and the Gem Damasking. Guys, this is a new Gem Damasking that I picked up when I was out shopping and mantiquing last weekend. Take a look at this. How cool is this? Oh my goodness, what a treat this is going to be. And I'm using this today. You can see it's got some brassing, but I'm using this because it's leaving the den. It's going to my buddy. And before it leaves, I want to shave with it. And I want to shave with it with you guys. So sit down, settle in, and get excited because it's going to be fun. Um, guys, before we get into this, I wanted to just stop and say, if you're new, thank you so much for being here. Go down below. Give me a comment. Give me a sub. Give me a thumb. And if you're not new, you're not a newbie subie shaver, you guys rock. Thank you for your continued support. I've had some great discussions with people um, just recently. Fire Cured coming up with some great conversation. Um, John, Peter Kaufman, man, what an awesome comment. Thank you so much for including me, guys, in your daily lives um, as you're going about things and watching the videos. I really appreciate that. Moving past, guys, going past that today, our challenge on Reddit is another one that is um, actually devoted to a, a member, right? We need to do a shave that from by somebody or devoted to somebody that means something to us. And today I'm gonna to be doing the gem, the gem Damascan because one of the guys that I really appreciated and followed heavily got me, uh, his, his name is Smadge9000. He was a big, huge, he's, his tag is an SE cultist. Like he loves single edge razors and his passion for them kind of drove me into trying them out. And I ended up really falling in love with the uh, the gems, the brand, just the, the lifestyle of gem, right? Um, so before we shave today, we're going to be using Holy Cause Tempest, all right? That was the other challenge. It has to be a collab soap. And today, guys, this iced tea was a collab soap with Mammoth. So Holy Cause, Mammoth got together. This is what came about. And let me tell you something. I love this scent. If you can't tell, I really like it. It is, it's like going to a spa. You get cucumber, you get, you get um, a little bit of mint. There's an, like an aquatic aspect to it. Guys, for me, it's like going to spots like cucumber water. I'm not kidding you. That is what I smell. I don't smell iced tea. I smell cucumber water. And I love it. I really like it for like when I want to spot it, right? My wife will shave with me. I shave with this. And it turns our whole entire bathroom to that spa S5. And I like that. Um, but I like it so much. And my wife likes it so much that we got not only the, the balm, the aftershave balm, but we also got the... Um, the tonic, the the other, the the skin cleanser, the the other product, the other splashable, and I'm telling you guys, I really like this product. I like both of them. Um, they smell nice, they feel good on the skin, and it helps keep that staying power. And then we're gonna go on top of that with sea forth and lime because I like that lime aspect right now. I'm just really into it, and I think it pairs well with cucumber water. We're gonna use Cremo as uh, I opened it, guys. I opened it. This is the silver water and birch. And we're going to be using, I don't want to forget, this brush from Maritime. This is a Maritime brush. It is beautiful. It is nice. It is good weight. It's a little lighter than my Mojo, but I like the wood vibe of it. It's nice and polished, nice and finished, and it's got a badger knot. And I've already started making a little bit of lather to prevent myself from getting too distracted. Um, it's a great brush, guys. If you haven't checked out Maritime, go look. The prices are awesome. And he does really good work. I really appreciate the brushes that he makes. He does a really good job and they ship fast. Guy's completely professional, he's a great artisan. And he's a true, true, look at this. Just a technician with the craft. Oh, so good. All right, let's get into the shape today, guys. It's gonna be a weird one. It's gotta be a weird one. And you know me, I like to do the weird things. That makes me happy. So we're gonna be using the Damascan. And I actually, guys, I grabbed my other Damascan so I can show you guys. Um, these came in three formats. I don't have the third one. I have searched. I'm still looking. Um, and this one I was leaving, so I'm going to have to find two. Um, this one is what they call, this is the new one. This is what they call a flat cap with a bevel. You see how flat this cap is, guys? Now take a look at this one. See how much, it's it's a little bit rounder. You see how much rounder that is compared to this one over here? And this is a round cap, no bevel. And then they did a round cap with bevel. So they did three variations on lids. 
you look at the inside of this razor and the inside of my other one, you'll notice that the stamps are different. I'm trying to get it. They, they're ones a little more crooked. You see how crooked this one on the left is versus the one on the right? They stamped them, but they didn't always stamp them right on. If you also look at the back, you'll see there's more gap in the hole here than there is here. Both of them fit tight, just the way it works. Just th there was a lot of differences. That's why I always tell you guys with these vintage razors, make sure everything's lining up. Look at the blade, um, the blade bar. So that's my morning turning on. Um, if you look at the blade bar, guys, you see this? This one on the right is small. This one on the right is is thicker. Right, the tabs that hold the blade. Every part of these razors is kind of its own unique snowflake. And I have only shaved like part of my chest with this one to make sure everything was tight and everything, nothing was moving. It's a different shape than this one. I can tell you that much. They're a different shape. This one's much more efficient. The flat with the bevel, way more efficient than this guy. And if you look underneath, I'm going to try to get this on set, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to try my best. You see this one on the right? It has that, that heart cut out. You see that? This one does not have that. Do you see the differences here on the, on the heart cutout versus the non-heart cutout? Some people search for the heart cutout, some people don't. It's, it's like a weird, when you're buying a Damascan, those are things to look for. Does it have a heart? Does it not have a heart? Do you care? What head cap is it using? What are the little tabs that hold the blade in? Um, you'll know a Damascan, guys, because it'll have that stamp. They had a different stamp that said Damascan only um, for one year. If you see a Damascan only, that's a one year of production razor. And it's the last year of production. And I, I, I'm not an expert here, guys. Um, like I said, this is information that can be found online. This is information that I've researched and that I have, you know, kind of found. That's what I'm searching the swap meets. That's what I'm looking for. The, you know, the stamps, the things that say things like gem cutlerly, right? This says gem cutlerly. It doesn't say just gem or anything like that. These are the first years of gem. Um, and not, I mean, they had some lather catchers that were way older. They had like the gem junior bar. But this was really the first iteration of the 1912 of what really uh, made Gem what it was. Okay. I know history lessons. No one's here for a history lessons. I know, but I find it interesting. I find it fun and fascinating to see how they really did change production. Like, and these were in production at the same time. That's the fascinating part. These were actually produced at the same time. Different, you know, different complete products at the same time. Um... But shave very, very well. Very good shavers. Honestly, very good shavers. Um, I think I almost prefer the the no bevel so far, but we're going to find out. Like I said, I haven't used this one all that much. Um, they did have an open comb variant, guys, for one year. It was the first year. I don't have one. It is the OG. It is what they call the GOAT. <laughs> the best of both all of them, the god of all of them. Like, I, I, I don't have one. It's not a boat. It's the best of all of them. We're going to call it a boat from now on. I, I, You know, I just don't have one of those, but I do have these, and we're going to use this one on the left today. Um, so let's get into it. How do I like to use these? You guys know, I'm not busting out a gem blade. No, 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 no. We're going to grab our Subi Skizzes and a DE blade, guys. This is a Persona, and we're just going to remove... The blade tabs and you're like you're doing what soups we're removing blade tabs why the wings clipping the wings what are we doing clipping those wings up man clipping them up you see how there's it's still attached but it's 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 definitely thin because of that guys we can just take this whole entire assembled razor now the whole blade stick it right into our our damascan and I have talked to a bunch of people that told me, they said, you know, Subi, that's not efficient enough for me. And that's totally cool, man. These definitely, definitely uh, feel a different than a gem blade does. It may not be your cup of tea. I actually really like the way it shapes. There you go. You see how it reflects? I put it in the wrong razor. They look so similar that I actually added a different handle to this one to make sure that I put it in the right one. And there we go. Like I said, it was it's a super simple um, solution if you don't have access to gem blades, right? And I, I did have somebody ask me, I said, why a DE blade in a gem? Because if you look at the world globally, DE blades are easier to get. 
And I like using things that I can recommend to everybody internationally even. And on top of that, guys, I like how it kind of is, it's a different type of efficiency. It's just different. And we're just going to take this like this. And you guys will notice the blade has a slight curve to it. See that slight curve? When you cut your, um, when you cut your DE blades, it's going to develop a curve. You just want your curve to be angled so that it matches the cap. Very simple. Very simple. You see how it matches the cap? And we're just going to close this and double check that everything's lined up nice. You want to see what it looks like? It's kind of cool. It says Persona <laughs> right across it. And these are the Persona Blues. Um, I had these out, so we're just going to use them. These are just their double edge. These can be bought on Amazon. Very nice blades. Very nice blades. Um, let's get a shape on. Let's do it. So we're going to be using the gem damasking, guys. And like I said, this is the most efficient variant, if you ask me. If you if you said, hey, soups, Subarus, before you use your subicized, subified, subicide <laughs> razor, how does it feel? And I'm telling you guys, between the two of them, this one's by far the more efficient. Um, it reminds me a lot of the cigarette variants. If you're a big fan of the cigarette variant gem, you'll probably like this one. It's... They're known for being the most efficient of the lineup, right? Gem was weird. They did the backwards. They didn't do what Jet, Gillette did. Gem started mild and got more and more um, aggressive as they continued to make razors. So as you as you get a newer and newer gem, it's going to be more and more blade filled to it. Just how it works. Um, their open comb var variant was actually their most mild. As odd as that sounds. Um, oh, it smells so good, guys. It smells so yummy. Oh, it's just like my blood, my, my blood pressure is like, Ooh. oh, when you get like that, it just feels like you're spoiling yourself. This soap reminds me of just like I'm spoiling myself. Like I'm going to go for a massage or something, you know, I like that. Oh, look at this. And I'm not talking about lather here, but I am enjoying, I could just, honestly, I could shower with this. If this was a body soap, I would wear it. Oh, I love this soap. Um, so yeah, this is a very efficient for me, it's 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 definitely the most efficient of the Damascans I've touched. I've only had touched two, but I've also touched about 10 other gems. And this, in my opinion, is up there with, probably up there with the Micromatic as far as how much uh, efficiency I'm getting. Okay, you ready? Here we go. And this is with a Persona de E blade. And this is still very smooth, guys. There is blade fill to it, but it's still very smooth. And I think that's why I became such a gem fan um, because it was so smooth and so easy to get a good shape. It does cater to a good, look at that, a good amount of uh, efficiency. And you can see that just it's just taking down the lather or taking down the stubble and it holds that lather back there really nicely. And this is a razor I don't usually tend this variant because I have the cigarette variant. I don't tend to like to go against the grain. We can try it. This one may be a little less efficient than my, my uh, cigarette lighter variant. But barely. I mean, barely there. Neck and neck, you could say. There you go. Very smooth shaver. Very, very easy shaver. Um, very comfortable, very, very comfortable shaver. Um, if, if you ask me and I'm done that way. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to use that towel back there so that <laughs> my bathroom continues to smell like this all day. Oh, that's nice. Very smooth, very smooth skin, very easy. It lends itself to angles, right? It's very nice. It lends itself to a good angle because of the, um, the bevel on that. And the, because it is the flat cap, you just kind of. I don't know. I almost don't lay it completely flat with my skin, guys. I almost kind of level it up like I do with some of my other valets. It feels more like a valet angle to me than it does a gem angle. Can I say that? Is that is that okay? I don't know if that's... A, please don't flame me. Don't come at me with pet forks, guys. Don't, don't get angry at me. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you how it feels on my skin. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you guys how I feel. Um, it does feel very much like a valet to me. As far as efficiency and, and blade fill and all that stuff goes. Um, but you don't you don't see me doing this. I'm kind of coming like this. You guys see that? I don't, I'm not coming at it like this. 
this would be flat. And if you come at it flat, it almost doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel right. It does feel like you want to be here. Rocked forward just a bit. I don't know why. The flat bevel cap, that's where it sits. And maybe that's why my hand automatically goes that way. I, I really don't know. But it is a easy razor. And like I said, this is going to my friend. My buddy who's helped me out several times in the past. Good old Tarl, man. It's, he's uh, been just an awesome contributor to the channel. And when I saw this, um, I knew he didn't have one at the show. And I was like, you know, I'd like to add some money into my channel. <laughs> I'd like to pick one up and add some money to the channel. But I have to remember that there's, there's, I have friends in this community that have helped me get where I'm at. So I think this one's going to him. And I think he'll like it a lot. As it is a smooth razor. And again, I'm using a DE blade, guys. I'm not using a gem blade. Keep that in mind. Right? Your experience may differ if you're busting out a gem blade. I don't usually use gem blades in this razor, in any of my Damascans. Not because they're not good shavers. It's just I have lots of DE blades, guys. I have lots of them, and they're cheap. And I can manipulate them, right? Like, that's one question I got like a ton of times. Josh, why are you using a DE blade? I get lots of shaves out of my DE blades. I have lots of different ones that give me different types of shaves, right? I can go with feather. I can go with this persona. I can go with some like really um, like more mild asterisks if I need to. I like the options and I think it, it really works well in the gem. Um, guys, the gem for me is one of my favorite razors of all time. One of my favorites, because it's a razor that is a Swiss army knife. It can take a valet blade. It can take a gem blade. can take a DE blade. I can use an injector blade in it. You mention it. You name it. It can't take like a, a hair trimmer blade or an AC blade. But I mean, I mean, if you cut them down, it could. It, because of the way they are built, guys, they're, they're tanks and they really do shave well in most situations. All right, we're going to go against the grain again. Keep in mind, too, with these gems, you're using a small handle, right? So with my hand, I sit my hand like this. This took me uh, some time to get used to because I like having that my ring finger on my handle. But it took me some time to get used to this. So what I'll usually do even is you'll see my finger. My finger will sit here most of the time when I'm doing my neck. Um, you'll see like my hand kind of supporting with my, my index finger because... It's a small razor, guys. The gem is small. That was the first thing that took me away. Going from a DE to this, I was like, this is small. But it is very smooth. Like I said, this is a very efficient razor. Lots of blade fill. Lots of blade fill. And I have a theory. I don't know if my theory is correct. I have this theory that the reason why these gems got more and more progressively aggressive is because the gem blades that were being produced at the time weren't as sharp. And the reason I mention that is because I actually got my hands on some 1930s, I believe, um, vintage old stock um, gem blades. They were actually made by Treat. Um, they're very old, very, very, very old. Um, and I tried one <laughs> for fun. I know you're not supposed to try them, but I tried one. And it was tuggy, man. It was some tuggy. So then I stropped it a couple times and it was still tuggy. And then I stropped it more and I was like, nope, this is just not for me. So I think they kept getting more and more aggressive because the blade quality wasn't as good as ours today. But when we're using the E's that are really, really overly sharp and thin. You see this? This is not me flinching. This is not me pulling. I will say that I am using good form. I'm not putting a lot of pressure down, but I am completely smooth. There's not a hair left on my neck and it doesn't feel like I shaved, right? It doesn't have that like, ow, feel to it. 
oh, you can just tell, guys. The surface of the skin, it is comfortable. It's close. Look at the line that I was able to develop. And this is why when Samaj 9000 said, hey, Soups, try this out. You'll like it. I was sold, man, because I was coming from the world of like really uncomfortable shapes. And that was partially, mostly my fault, right? Just with bad form, bad form, bad shapes. So I came in and then this just seemed, it lended itself to me. I don't know why. It was just the angle, the inherent ability to find um, where I needed to be. It just really helped. I don't know. It was a nice place to start in the world of shaving for me. Other than my leaf, right? It was similar to the leaf. You just sit down on the surface and have a good shave. And I just loved it. I fell in love with these little gems. And they have personalities that are just unique. I know I've done some videos on it before because I love gems. I really do love gems. Oh, and this Damascus is no different. So if you guys are out antiquing, you're man-antiquing, even going on eBay and you're like, I would like to try a Damascan. Three different head caps, guys. That's what you need to know. One with some with hearts, some without hearts, some pictures. It's really hard to tell on either. I got lucky when I bought mine because I was searching for a heart variant and I found one. But the pictures didn't show it. It, it just, I just got lucky. Um, guys, this is the winter green from CVS. I know you're like, why? Uh, my skin's really, really kind of oily and it feels nice. It's drying and it feels really cooling. Now we're gonna go on top of that with the iced tea. And again, this is the um, this is the toner and I got the aftershave. Okay, that's the word I was looking for. Toner! Couldn't remember that word, toner. So this is the toner and I find the toner to be a little bit more stringent. But this is not filling. I don't know, it's, it's a different feeling than aftershave. But I don't have any burn. I have no burn. I smell nice now. I like this a lot. If you guys don't, if, you, if you're into this scent, get the splash. The splash is absolutely worth it. I like this. I like, I actually think I like the aftershave more personally, but when you combine them, I get a really strong hit, a really strong hit of that cucumber-esque scent. Oh, it's so good. Guys, I hope your days are as good as mine is going. I mean, this smells amazing. I feel amazing. The skin is nice and close. We don't have a weeper in sight. We don't have any blood anywhere. We don't have any problems. Guys, have wonderful days. Thank you for being a part of this. You rock. We'll be in touch. Bye, guys.